Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Bull, Manager of Developer Advocacy. Hi, I'm Sunny Dua. I'm a Director of Product Management at uh, Cisco App Dynamics. It's really good to have you here, Sunny. Um, what we were really getting at is data. There's so much data and feeds of data, telemetry, that comes from all these different plates, places, these different sources. It can be really hard for a customer to make the right decisions about how to run their business. And that, for, in that group's case, it was about multi-cloud, but really, I want to take a step away from just one thing. And I think that's kind of, kind of up your alley. So I, can you just give me something I can go do right now? Beautiful. Yep. I, I just give me the simple, the simple answer that says, here's how to go solve this. I'm using the term problem. I don't necessarily mean it that extreme, but mm -hmm. here's the one thing I need to solve for right now. Can you help me do that and bring people together and say, empower me to do that so I can go do more with it? So what we did this week is we went with Cisco FSO platform as tech preview. Um, now, the proof point is already out there. There's an application called App Dynamics Cloud, which our developers created. It's already GA. It's mm -hmm. been seven months. We have a bunch of customers already on it, evaluating it. Some are using it in production. And they're getting the benefits of that application. The underlying platform is powering it. Right? Now, within the ecosystem, as I said, for the ecosystem player, what we are doing is now opening up this platform. So the tech preview is the first step, where we actually trained around 25 different partners for a four hour workshop, and it was four hour not because it takes four hours to create an app, just, just <laughs> want to make sure I, I let you know, uh, because it, it took us some time to explain the concept, but it took us 15 minutes to build the first application on top of the platform, because it is not about writing code in Java or Go or Ruby, it's all about config driven coding or config driven applications. So everything is defined in a JSON or a YAML file, and you go ahead and define those configurations, the relationships you want, the metrics you want to pull, how exactly you want to do authentication on it, and so on and so forth. And by the way, it also extends to a part that you also get to define the user experiences. Because ultimately, instead of having 15 tools, if you have 15 use cases built on top of a platform mm -hmm. by different developers, you still want the same user experience. Yeah. So we've gone with the latest and greatest, React, and on the React framework, all our UI is fully configurable by a developer or a customer on top of the platform, so that you can not only extend the existing, uh, existing experiences, but you can build your own, add that to the community so that everybody can leverage out those, whether it's a pie chart or a bar graph or, or a bubble chart or a flame graph, all of those are welcome. And that really is the power of the FSO platform which allows to do that. I super appreciate hearing that. Um, as we wind down, mm -hmm. as we wrap up, is there anything, any like top things you really want the audience and everyone watching to remember about not just the tech preview, but what this can enable them to do, how they can how they can get a hand, their hands on it, how they can take a look at it? What can we help? Sure, absolutely. So, as I said, the FSO platform is tech preview, and very soon we'll be doing a GA as well. In fact, I can share that we are looking at Cisco Live Las Vegas as a place, and hopefully we'll be talking about you heard it. You're here first. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be talking about the GA and what all apps we have built and our partners and our customers have built. Because in Tech Preview, we are opening up the platform to a limited set of partners and customers who would love to build applications related to observability, uh, would love to kind of play with the platform. And just a proof point, one of our developers said, just like in the Java world, if you want to go ahead and attract a developer, you need to go and tell him about the Sock Shop app. Right? Yes. Um, we created <laughs> we an app. We all know the Sock Shop app. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so through your channel, I want to make sure that people know about the Space Fleet app. Ooh. So now I'm going into the realm of Star Trek. So here's You're an architect company. and he said, I want to create the first app and it doesn't have to be observability or Cisco or network or APM. What do you want? I love Star Trek. My kid loves it. And they actually created, within 15 minutes, a Star Trek application on top of the FSO platform, which we are demoing over here as well. It has a space fleet, um, it has rooms. In the rooms there are officers, and these officers have a shield, uh, and then we also have how many shields have been, or how much they have been attacked, and what's their shield level. So all of these are entities related to each other, and then there are metrics, events, logs, traces associated to this app, which, is, uh, which will be also available very soon, which uh, developers can use as a sample app to build uh, their own applications. And the beauty is that ultimately I told them, hey, can you connect this app to a Kubernetes cluster and show that in this room inside the space fleet, you're running Kubernetes cluster. And we were able to do that because that's the power of relationships. So literally you can visu visualize anything and everything using open telemetry, the power of relationships, and last but not the least, a unified query language because it's important that not just ingesting data but also reading it. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
this is the only platform in the industry which has a single query language across the topology as well as across metrics, events, logs, traces. That's the key differentiator if you want to take that uh, and Most invest excellent. your time on this. Most excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much. And by the way, I will say that it would have hit a little bit closer to home if it was a Star Wars app that was built. <laughs> I'm just saying. But that's okay. I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you. All so, right. hey, thank you so much for being here. Really thank appreciate you. it. It's been fantastic having Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thanks, thank everyone, you guys. for watching. You can catch all the rest of our information on developer.cisco.com slash Cisco Live. Enjoy the event. Thank you.